Right, next up in the series is we're going to put our uh, Clevite by Molly main bearings in, our ARP main studs, and get ready to take some measurements using our uh, dial, dial bore gauge. And we're going to compare that to plastic gauge and see how it, uh, how it marries up. Okay, first we gotta get the engine up on the engine stand. This is just a Harbor Freight stand. I like to use the one that has the the two wheels in the front. Uh, the one with the single wheel, it's a little cheaper, but I don't like it, it's a little flimsy. And when I attach it to the engine, I like to use the top mounting bolts and the bottom mounting bolts. And I just got some of these uh, bolts from Lowe's. They are M10 by 1.50 by 75. Um, and uh, that's what I use to attach it. I also use these uh, kind of bigger washers. I think they're three eighths. They're not metric, but they're they're large, larger. Once you get the bolts started in there, uh, they don't have to be super tight. Uh, everything doesn't have to be super tight on there. About 30, 25 to 30 foot pounds. You want to be careful because it's aluminum block, and you could strip out the bolts pretty easily. This block weighs about 75 pounds. Uh, add on that little bracket there. Uh, could be, you know, 85 getting close to 100 pounds. So if you have a difficult time lifting that weight up, it's kind of awkward, uh, then use a friend. Uh, but we've got to get it up and get it in there. Okay, so we have our block on our engine stand now. This is how it comes back from the machine shop usually. Uh, they'll still have the end main caps on there. So we need to take those off. If you have a hard time getting these main caps off, uh, I use, leave the bolts in there so that you can kind of use those as leverage to pry back and forth at the same time you're pulling up on them. Okay, before we put our studs in there, you want to double check your threads uh, for your main caps uh, and make sure that they're not uh, there's no metal shavings inside there. You can uh, chase them if you want, uh, but if they're good, uh, then they're good. You can uh, if you're gonna blow them out, turn the engine upside down, blow them out. Right, before I put the studs in, this area right here, the surface that uh, mates the main caps, this flat surface right here, I'm going to clean that really well because once you get the studs on there, it can be kind of hard to, to clean it. Now we can install our ARP main stud kit. This part number is 1565802. This is a main stud kit for a four valve texted block uh, without a windage tray. So it's going to have a couple of studs. Uh, maybe just one stud for the pickup, uh, but it's not going to have studs for uh, either the rear uh, windage tray or a full windage tray like on the three valve. Okay, so I got the studs in there. Uh, this one right here, the second one on the left from the back, uh, that has the longer stud on it. That's where your old pickup tube is going to attach to. On the top of these, you'll see that they have a hex. Uh, that's to use, that's to aid in getting them in there. You, these are supposed to be just hand tight. So I bottom them out and then kind of just back it off just a little bit. I don't like to use a gun on this part. Uh, I like to do it by hand just to make sure that I don't uh, mess something up on the way in. So take your time, run them down. Uh, and then once it bottoms out, just back it off just a little bit. Okay, now the studs are all in. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the bottom surface where the uh, bearings go in before we put the, the main bearings in. Okay, so now we'll move on to our, our bearings, our, our clevite, clevite, however you wanna say it, molly. Uh, what I'm gonna do is pull these out and using the Kim type towel, wipe each one down uh, real good. Okay, so when I pull these out, I like to keep them in order. So like, uh, this is gonna be our thrust washer, so that's gonna be in the back, so that's, I'm gonna call that number five. And the first one to come out of the package is number one. So number one, two, three, four, five. These are your uppers. They have the hole in them for the oil to go through. Uh, and then these are gonna be your lowers. They don't have any holes in them. Uh, but I like to keep them in order, so one, two, three, four, five, and then this is a corresponding one to one, two, two, three, three, on the way down to the uh, thrust washer. We're not going to use this little guy when we put it in because we're just putting these in to measure them right now. Okay, so starting with the number five, 
Uh, if you look closely on here, it's got a little tang and there's gonna be a little hole in the block for the tang to go in. I put that in first. Make sure it's level with the block and then squeeze this in and push down at the same time. And we'll do that for the rest of them. Okay, before we put our bearings in, we'll wipe these down. Wipe down the flat surface, the where the bearing goes. Okay, now the textured main uh, main caps are marked. Uh, they have arrows pointing forward, and they also over here on the side, uh, they're stamped one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, these engines can get pretty corroded and pretty dirty, so if you can't see your numbers, then just clean off clean them off really good, and then you'll be able to see them. So I'm gonna load these uh, bearings the same way. I'm gonna put the tang in. Squeeze the other side in there. And repeat. So this last uh, thrust washer, uh, or thrust bearing washer, can be a little difficult sometimes. This one wasn't too bad, but still not quite level. Uh, if you have a hard time getting that in there, what I do is I just take a flat surface and just kind of tap it down. Now we can put our main caps on and take a wooden or a, or a plastic mallet, tap them down. Now we can put the washers on. I like to wipe these down as I put them on. Okay, the ARP studs come with a little bit of assembly lube. We're just gonna mix that up and then put it on each of the studs. I put about a pea size and just wipe it on there. You wanna get it on the washers, the washer and the threads. And so I put it like that so that uh, as the, the nut goes down, it spreads the uh, lube all around on it. Now we can get our nut started. Okay, now we can snug them down. I like to snug the middle ones down, rotating, do a couple turns uh, back and forth, a couple turns back and forth, a couple turns back. That way the, the, main, the main cap goes down evenly, uh, work our way down, and then do the outside ones similarly. And then I torque them to 25 on the outer ones and 60 foot pounds on the inner ones. So the small ones are 25 foot pounds, the inner ones are 60 foot pounds. All right, so now our bearings are installed, our ARP main studs are installed, everything's torqued down. Uh, the next step is to get some measurements.